Other news now at five. A manhunt in Bargersville ended with a man with a police shooting a man they say was armed. It started with a traffic stop. CBS 4's Mike Sullivan has reaction from neighbors tonight. We're in the area of Short Street and Old Trail Drive. And neighbors here have been on high alert ever since yesterday when news came through that an armed suspect was on the loose and possibly in their neighborhood. The last thing they expected was that suspect to be shot in their neighborhood. It's almost as if neighbors here sort of knew. Everything was kind of fogged in this morning. This wasn't going to be a normal Friday. Kind of had an eerie feeling about it. Yesterday, Bargersville police attempted a traffic stop on a vehicle near State Road 135 and Whiteland Road. That turned into a, ve a vehicle pursuit for a short time, uh, then led to a, a foot pursuit. The suspect is 44-year-old Efrain Perez Ramirez. As he ran, officers noticed he was armed with a handgun. The search for that suspect continued overnight for several hours. Neighbors tell us they woke up this morning uneasy heading to work. Last night, I know the the neighborhood was a buzz, buzz through the uh, different apps that we use here to communicate. Mike Pruitt is the deputy chief with the Bargersville Fire Department. He also lives in the neighborhood. Everyone in the community is pretty vigilant about reporting things to the police. That suspicion only grew this morning. In an attempt to blend in, a neighbor tells us the suspect was spotted using a stolen rake to clean the leaves in his yard. It was kind of a dead giveaway that the, there was something suspicious going on. Neighbors from numerous agencies eventually saw the suspect by the Bargersville grain bin. That suspect again fled on foot um, for several blocks. Um, officers again lost sight of him. Eventually finding him here on Short Street where they say he pointed a gun at officers. Two police officers fired shots at the suspect. The suspect was struck. After he was hit, police say the suspect dropped the gun but was still not listening to officers' commands. A taser was then used and the suspect was placed in handcuffs. Numerous officers then rendered medical aid and requests for paramedics. At last check, Perez Ramirez was still in critical condition and no officers were hurt. Well, people pass through. He's not from around here, most likely. Yet it's this neighborhood that will never forget him. In Bargersville, I'm Mike Sullivan, CBS 4 News.